What's up guys, it's Carson, back here from Toxic Gaming with the first, well, second week of the PIC and the first battle for the LA Dubwades. Last week we had the bye week, which is why we had those two Shodom uh, sessions go up. Figured we'd still get some Pokemon content up, but this week we have the first battle for the LA Dubblades in week two against Josh and the Cape Arbox. Now there will be links down below in the description for both this video and the battle to Josh's channel and Twitter, as well as the PIC Twitter and YouTube channel. Check all those things out. But just to get right away with it, actually let me pull up his, uh, <laughs> his draft. One thing I forgot to pull up, I just got flew in from, or just got home from having to go back home for family stuff. So I just got back, so I gotta get this thing. No more figured out, but whatever. But Josh himself went with Mega Diancy, Garchomp, Raikou, and then Keldeo, Arcanine, Crobat, and Crawdons, um, Almamoa, Trevenant, Bronzong, Hitmonchan, Chatot, and Haunter for his last pick. So he has a really centric team. I can see that Mega Diancy doing a lot to our team, and I had or a lot to our draft in general. And I had made two different teams, and one of them just suited against that Mega Diancy a little bit better. And so without further ado, we're just going to get right into it. First off, we have TLC, our pincer, or Mega Pincer, uh, rocking the Moxie ability as a regular pincer. I'll get to that in a second. With Quick Attack, Earthquake, Return, Swords Dance, 252 Attack, 4 in Defense, just, you know, cause, uh, have that little extra chance to live a Diamond Storm. Probably won't, but have a little extra. And then 252, Jolly, Speed Nature, as fast as we can go. Because this pincer, what I want this thing to try to do is if I can come in on, say, maybe mm, Keldeo, and it's down to lowest HP, it's like 5% HP, quick attack, get that Moxie boost, and then Mega Evolve the next turn on whatever he brings in. And I believe after a Moxie, if he brings in the Diancie, just a regular Diancie, if we Mega Evolve an Earthquake, if he does not protect, I believe it will kill. If he does protect, then obviously we're going to be slower and we're going to have to switch out because we're not living in a diamond storm from Mega Diancie at all. But we can you know, try to catch things off guard with that Earthquake. Try to kill that Raikou before, uh, like before, on the switch in if we have to. And if we can force switch out to Swords Dance, return after those things are gone. End game sweeping with quick attacks and returns and Earthquakes and all that nice stuff after Swords Dance. Mega Pinsir is going to be our kind of last ditch this is the last sweeper ready to clean up everything <laughs> over the course of the battle. Um, next we have the app we named Kevin. Good old Kevin. The Sylveon. Uh, with leftovers and Pixelate. Hyper Voice, Protect, Wish, and Heal Bell. Basically our kind of clerk of the team. With 252 HP, 252 Defense, and Bold Nature, and Foreign Special Attack. Now I originally had this thing pegged for a Choice Scarf, or a Choice Specs. Hyper Voice is getting as much power as we could off. But as I was looking more to the team, we needed a little bit more bulk, and I originally, again, I went to Special Defense Wall, and he just wasn't taking like, normal hits from things, and I needed, I felt like I needed that extra defense for seeing with this stuff as Garchomp, Arcanine, Crobat, Crawdont, Mega Diancie, and um, Trevenant with Horn Leeches, Bronzong with Gyro Balls. I felt like I needed that defense walls more than Special Defense Walls, and Sylvia has good Special Defense at 130 anyway to take the hits. But just Wish Protect, able to keep myself healing. Heal Bell to free up burns and paralyze us from the rest of the team as that Raikou might be holding Thunder Wave. And just to really try to just keep the team alive. Keep the, keep until the last ditch effort we can sack off Sylveon and have one last Hyper Voice if we can get it off or a Heal Bell or a Wish. Did one last thing they'd use. And that's really all here Kevin is for. <laughs> and next we have uh, Skywalker himself, the R. Lucario with Life Orb, Justified. Swords Dance, Bullet, pr bullet Punch. Sorry. <laughs> Ghost Combat and Earthquake. 168 HP, 88 attack, and then 252 Jolly with speed. Now, the EVs for this Lucario are so that no matter what, a Bullet Punch will one-shot a Mega Diancie. It's, I, I put it down literally till it was um, at 88 only, or till it was at 100% only, to be able to put as much of the rest back in bulk. Because if we can get a Swords Dance up and just take a hit or two and just hit hard with Bullet Punches, Close Combats, or Earthquakes, it'll be very, very nice. I feel like Lucario is kind of, we have a good amount of mid-game sweepers, and Lucario is one of those options. Able to come in if we can force switch out with uh, Swords Dance, 
or force switch out and then swords dance up and just fire off bullet punches. If we're expecting a knockoff, I'll bring Lucario in. We resist the knockoff and would justify it. We will actually get an attack boost. So yes, we will lose our life orb, but we will actually get a good attack boost and then not have recoil damage later. So I felt like that could be a nice little thing to play off of if he has not knock off. Usually the, cro the Crawdont is there with it. Um, I don't think Hitmonchan gets it. I think Crawdont might be his only option with knock off, but just in case he brings it, Crawdont is a monster. I can come in, stare him out from close combats, and after he knocks off my life orb, I'll be able to stick around and really, really do some damage. Um, next we have uh, the Brow Victini, the Season 1 MVP for the Dubwades. With a Choice Scarf, V-Create, Bolt Strike, Will-O-Wisp, and U-Turn, with 208 HP, 252 Adamant Attack, 4 Defense, and 44 Speed. Now, this Victini is a little weird. It's built to outspeed any variant of Keldeo except for Choice Scarf. If his Keldeo is Choice Scarf, we won't outspeed it. But if he's timid max speed and anything but Scarf, we will be able to outspeed it and do a good amount of damage with a Bolt Strike. Now, I have Will-O-Wisp on this thing, again, in case somehow I don't predict a knockoff and I get knocked off my uh, Choice Scarf, I always have a Willow. But I want to see if I can maybe be able to Will-O-Wisp that guard, if the Garchomp is still around, the Diancie before Mega Evolves on the Switch, if he brings it in before Mega Evolves and get a burn off that thing before he gets Magic Bounce. And then things like the Crobat and uh, Crawdons, Trevenant, Hitmonchan, if he brings that, just to get burns off before Victini gets hit, if I need to. It's just really there, it's nice. I like U-Turn and the uh, the Switch Initiative. Um, it's, I, I put everything from the speed back into HP so we can live a few more hits. And it's just, if the Brow can do what I need it to do, it's gonna be a Revenge Killer, fire offing, firing off, hard V-Creates, and the, the Choice Scarf kinda negates the um, speed drop from a V-Create, but I believe we still will, I don't think we will outspeed a timid Raikou with this thing, that's the only real problem with it. But, instead of uh, this thing dealing with Raikou, we have our next, hashtag sexual tail, our Thunderous Therian with Expert Belt, Volt Absorb, with Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot, and Hidden Power Ice, 252 in Special Attack, and then 252 plus in Speed for Timid Nature. This thing is going to be our lead. I see him running lead Garchomp, it's just the only mod I really see him running good lead besides that, or maybe Bronzong, but he's going to want to probably do that to get rocks up really soon with us having Victini and um, Thunderous and uh, Mega Pinsir. He's going to want to get those rocks up really soon. And this Thunderous Therian can one-shot a uh, offensive Stealth Rock Garchomp without HP investment. This is the one without HP investment, completely one-shots. And if he and the thing is, if he doesn't, he can't one-shot me with anything. Yeah, he will. I believe he will be outspeed by me. By, he outspeeds me by like two points. So no matter what, the rocks kind of will be up. But I have a way to get rid of those later. But if I can get that Garchomp out of the way first turn, Thunderous is here to stay. Just basically absorb anything from that Raikou. This thing is also a little bit of a Raikou. Raikou completely wall, being able to absorb. Uh, Volt switches or Thunderbolts that are incoming, healing myself up and then forcing him to switch out, thus being able to Nasty Plot and then firing off hard Thunderbolts. And then if I need to get out of there, I can Volt switch out and then come back in on that Raikou if it's still around. But Thunderous is mainly here to be our lead. If we see Garchomp, we're going with Thunderous. If we don't see Garchomp, we'll probably end up going with Victini because that probably means he has the Bronzong. And Victini's V-Create will one-shot a defensive Bronzong as long as it doesn't have Heat Proof. So I didn't mention that again, but V created from that Victini will completely destroy Bronzong, a fully defensive Bronzong, if, unless it has heatproof. And if it has heatproof, then that means Skywalker's Earthquake and TLC's Earthquakes can take it out. But moving on from Sexual Tail, we have our final member, KY, our Tentacruel, with Black Sludge, Liquid Ooze, Rapid Spin, Scald, Toxic Spikes, and Ice Beam, 248 HP, 252 Defense, and a Bold Nature, and then 8 in Speed. This this is my little rapid spinner. This is where I plan to get out of the rocks once that Garchomp is gone or the Bronzong is gone. To get the rocks finally out of here. Set up my own Toxic Spikes if needed because a Toxic on that Diancie or Raikou or Keldeo will help a lot. Put them on a timer and be really nice. I thought about running Toxic itself, but I felt like the Spikes are better because I don't really have, have it under necessary for other hazards. And then it would force him to maybe defog with the Crobat or with the chat on if he brings that. It would force a defog out of him. And again, I went with the defensive Tentacruel because I felt still 120 base defense. I felt like it had a good enough special defense bulk and I really had that 
counter for Raikou right off the bat that I could go uh, physically defensive with Tentacruel. I went with Liquid Ooze specifically because of Trevenant, and if he tries to Leech Seed me, it will completely just hurt him instead of healing anybody. That's That was the main reason for Liquid Ooze. Yes, I may be hurting myself by getting Seeded, but it's not giving them health back. Um, Ice Beam, again, just for the Trevenant or the uh, um, Guard Chomp. It was better, I felt, than Sludge Wave. Just to, just had another one that could just completely beat the Garchomp and Scald for burn sakes. Scald's the best water move in the game, so why not have it? But that's actually what we're going to have our battle with here in just a few minutes with Josh. So thank you guys for checking out this video. If you want to see Josh's side of the battle or his team prep, it will all be down below for links. And check out the PIC's YouTube itself and Twitter for updates on all battles and I believe for power rankings and recaps of the weeks coming out. So again, thank you guys for coming out. I'm Carson Toxic Gaming, and as always, you guys stay toxic. We'll see you guys.